Okay, I'm in my assignments looking for my writing today. So I've opened that up and I've clicked on your says view assignment. Remember, I want to have that all up and remember your says your work up here. That is where you're going to find your unusual animal book that you're going to be working on for the next several days. We're going to be working on a couple pages at a time so it's not so overwhelming. We had a really good plan. I looked through a lot of those last week and I'm really excited to hear the stories that you come up with and how you expand those stories. So today, writers, I want to teach you how you can take a story and a plan and expand it with a picture. I'm taping and my husband's back there coughing, but he's okay. So we will continue um, our planning here. Now there's a couple things according to this. You're currently watching your mini lesson video. I wanna review my unusual animal notes from day one and two from last week. They are in your Google Docs. They've been put back in your Google Docs and returned to you. So they're labeled the animal notes day one and day two. You'll also wanna review your unusual animal planning from last week also return to you and in your Google Docs. And then today we're gonna to complete page one and two of our unusual animal booklet. And then when we're done, we'll click and turn in. We're gonna be doing this in Google Slides because I think this is gonna work best when we make our booklet later. We're all trying this out together. So what I'm gonna do is today I wanna to show you how I'm going to expand my plan from or by using a picture. So I have my documents open. I have my research day one and I have my little my little pink fairy armadillo in their environment. And I have my notes from day two, so that helps me. And I wanna go and look at my plan. So page one, this goes with page one, it's who is our main character and what are they doing now? Well, I started out thinking about the pink fairy armadillo is sleeping in her burrow with her pup. So I want to expand that plan. So I'm thinking if I only have a one sentence page, I'm really not writing a fourth grade level book. I would probably be writing a first grade level book. So I'm going to expand that into several sentences, but I'm going to use my picture to help. You might have to go find more pictures of your creature. That's quite all right. And since I'm being a little lazy and I already wrote this, I'm gonna copy this, so edit, copy. My book is open and it says to type here. And I'm gonna erase that because I don't need that. And I'm gonna go to edit, paste. And that's pretty small, so I could go, I'm, I'm gonna go and just make, make my font a little bit bigger so I can see that as I'm typing. I'm in slide view here. So my, the pink fairy armadillo is sleeping in her burrow with her pup. Well, we've got this picture here and they're not really sleeping, but it's the closest I could find to it. So maybe I'm going to use some of the things I learned from my notes. I learned that they're nocturnal, so they won't be eaten with by, by predators. I've learned that she's very flexible. She, um, the, drain, the blood drains out into its shell and to maintain the body heat. So I'm thinking maybe she's maintaining some body heat and she's very quiet in there, protecting her animal. The babies are called pups, so I wanna use that. So I'm thinking about all of these things I learned to incorporate into this. The pink fairy armadillo is, I'm gonna add a word, peacefully sleeping in her underground burrow. Oops. Burrow with her pup. She waits patiently as her little pup. Um, let's see, what could her little pup be doing? Wiggles in its Pink protective shell. I only have two sentences there. That's not quite enough yet. Um, let's see. Maybe we could talk about how the um, burrow is very small 
and they're huddled really close together. And then I want to maybe bake them slowly waking up and stirring in their in their burrow. So let's go give that a try. The two armadillos huddle close together. Hmm. Uh, let's see, I need to put that as morning dawns. They have spent, oh, they're nocturnal. So as, instead of having as morning dawns, as the sun sets, she and her pup are ready to crawl out of their hole for the night. Now, I probably am going to go back and I'm going to revise that later, but that would be page one. Then I'm going to go to page two and I'm going to go back to my, let's see, this one, my story planning. What does my main character want more, more than anything? She wants to feed her pup some insects. So I got to somehow be working with this sentence. I'm going to copy and paste this because this is page two. And just like the first one, I want to expand that into three to four sentences so that it's way more interesting to the reader. And boys and girls, you're going to do page one and two. In just a moment, I'll come back and I'll show you what a page one and two would look like together. 